Here's a Galaxy Tab S7. I'm going to show you three ways to take a screenshot. First way is using the palm swipe. Okay, you go one edge to the screen and swipe it over to the other, or you can do it vice versa. Okay, so by default it's on. All you got to do is it's very difficult for me to do. I never really do it this way. Okay, so there's a screenshot right there, and you can go ahead and edit and whatnot down there. Okay. Now by default it's on. You can always check too if you just uh, go directly into your settings. And then from settings, just scroll down to advanced features, tap on that, and then from here, go ahead and tap on motions and gestures, tap on that, and you can see palm swipe to capture. It's on by default, okay? Just slide it like that, okay? Very difficult to do. Now the second way to do it is a, a two key combination. What you wanna do is press the power button and the side button. So if I wanna go ahead and take a screenshot of this right here, power volume down just press same time and let go okay you don't want to press and hold volume down or uh, uh, with the power button volume down if you press and hold you don't want to do that because you press and hold that's going to bring up the power off menu what you want to do is power volume down just tap them both at the same time ready go okay and then of course from here you can go ahead and edit and whatnot as well all of your screenshots get saved directly into your uh, photos gallery right here so if you tap on that and then you go ahead and just make sure um, albums is clicked down here. And then you have like a new folder called screenshots. So you can see all the screenshots that I've taken. That last one was right here. Now, you also have something called scroll capture. So for instance, let's say that you're um, on a website and you got like tons of uh, things that you want to take a screenshot on. So you don't want to take multiple screenshots. What you can do is this, okay? So for example, we can go ahead and take a screenshot. Let me just go ahead and use the uh, power button volume down. Tap them both. And then you'll see this come down here, okay? Now from here, if you tap on this right here, it's gonna bring it down, okay? Let me go ahead and tap again. You can see that this is getting longer and longer. Okay, let's, let's do it a couple more times. It's getting longer. Okay, let's say we, we still wanna take another screenshot. Okay, so that's good right there. And then just go ahead and click on there and then you can go directly back to your gallery here. And like I said, make sure you're in albums, tap on uh, screenshots. And then we can see that last one it took basically almost half of that web page, as you can see right there. Now another way, or the third way, you can use your S Pen here, and you can see a little pencil mark right that, right here. If you tap on that right here, you can go ahead and you can choose Smart Select right here, which is basically a screenshot, okay? So let me just show you again. So you just go to whatever page that you want to go ahead and take a screenshot of, and then you can see that pencil mark right there again. Just tap on that, and then we're gonna tap on Smart Select. And then from here, you can go ahead and just capture whatever you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop right there. I can capture that right there. Of course, you know, you can go ahead and uh, you can you can go ahead and edit and whatnot on there as well. And let me go back here. And you have uh, Backspace, and if you want to save it, you just click on Download right here download that and of course that goes directly into your gallery again so that last one I just took a screenshot is right here okay another cool thing I want to show you too about the um, using the S Pen to screen capture and take a screenshot if I do this tap on here I'm gonna go back to smart select now watch this now if I go ahead and say let's say I want to screenshot this right here I go ahead and let go. Now I can also extract text, which is pretty cool. If I click on that, it's basically gonna extract the text that's on the actual uh, screenshot. You can see right here, it says Game Launcher, Gallery Store, Play Store, all right there. And let me just go back here. And you also have pin to screen. So you can go ahead and tap on that. And basically you can start like multitasking and leave this screenshot on there to something that you need to copy numbers or passwords or whatnot. And if I go ahead and tap on that you can go ahead and minimize this up here and then you can always go ahead and tap that back to enlarge in it and then of course you can go ahead if you want to save it just as it is like that you can click on download or you can click on the x just to close it so pretty simple any questions or issues just uh comment below all right good luck